Hey guys, I just want to let you know that it's a part one to the series. If you haven't seen it yet, there'll be a link up here. Also, if you're new to the channel, make sure you go ahead and subscribe and hit the notification bell. That way you know when I release a new episode. Enjoy the video. Okay, so inside of this package is one of the crucial components of this build. Let me show you what's inside. This is a sound card from AudioInjector.net. Now, as you can see, it does have a 40 pin output. And that's important to know because it's actually made for the Raspberry Pi. It's a sound card for the Raspberry Pi. And as you can see, the Raspberry Pi actually has a 40 pin input. So together, they go like this. And they line up like that and they come together. Now, the point of the card is to be able to convert analog signals back into digital, which the Raspberry Pi could understand. And originally, I had the intention of just doing that myself. In other words, making the hardware to go ahead and interact with the Raspberry Pi in that sense. But the reason I bought this specifically was because I saw that it had a microphone. Now, looking at the pictures, I had no idea where the microphone was, but now I could actually see it. It's that little thing right there. It even has like a little fuzzy top like a microphone would. Now, the reason I like that was because obviously I need to be able to talk to Karen in some way. So I thought it already has a microphone built in, which means I don't have to go ahead and provide any other hardware. It's already there, but there's one catch. Now, since I am trying to make this a cylindrical unit, a lot like Alexa, right? It's a, it's a cylinder that just sits there. I thought, okay, well, from the pictures, I saw that this had a little knob here. Now, this knob, from what I can tell, is used to control pretty much the volume of your input or output. There's two of them. There's one here on top and one here on the other side. And these knobs, like you would expect, turn around, right? They turn. So that's why it gives me the impression that they're used to control the volume. So because I want to actually go ahead and make use of this knob here, I thought, okay, I should mount it this way because according According to the schematics of the board, these RCA female plugs here are actually used to convert digital signals coming from the Raspberry Pi down to a speaker somewhere. So that tells me that this here is probably used to control the output volume. And since I want to make use of this knob, I thought the best solution was to mount it vertically like this. This way, this sticks out from the top of the cylinder and I can go ahead and use it to control the volume up or down. However, something I've realized is that whenever I'm trying to talk to Karen and Karen is saying something while I'm trying to talk to it, it becomes very difficult for Karen to understand what I'm saying because there's a loud noise playing over it. So because of that, I thought the best solution would be to mount the microphone, this one pointing up and then the speaker so that it points down. This way, the speaker and the microphone are opposite from one another and therefore making it maybe somewhat easier for Karen to know what I'm saying because it can hear me while the music or whatever is playing down here. But again, because this knob is here, that makes it a lot more difficult because then I'm gonna have that 180 degrees in separation. Now I have a 90 degree separation between the microphone and the speaker, which I don't know if it'll work that well. So what I have to do basically is I have to test it to make sure that works. And in the case it doesn't work, what I'm thinking is that because this board is actually pretty simple, you can even see back here, the actual point where the knob is soldered onto, which means that if I really wanted to, what I can do is just unsolder these pins and then take this whole knob and put it up on top of the cylinder and then just make wires, just wire things back down to the points where it's supposed to be soldered onto. Now that is a last case scenario because I don't really wanna go ahead and mess too much with it. Um, but I think that might be the best bet if I do want that 180 degree separation between the microphone and the speaker. So we'll just see how that plays out. But first I have to actually test it to make sure it works. But to test it properly, I first need some speakers. So let's look at some. Hi my dude, so I'm a software developer, which means that I don't really have to go outside for anything, which has been awesome because with this whole COVID-19 situation, I've been just sitting at home and it's just now coding, that's all I do, which is awesome. But right now I'm actually at the Anaheim Thrift Store, which is a place that's really not super close to me, but it's worth it coming here just because I always find the coolest things here. And right now I'm with this Alexa ripoff that I'm building, I need to actually go ahead and make it so that it's its own standalone item, like its own standalone little thing. But the one thing I don't have to figure out right now is the actual sound, like like feedback I'm getting from Alexa or the ripoff Alexa that I'm building. So I need some actual hardware and I, I got my little like sound card, which is awesome. I hope that works out, but I don't have anything to hear output from it. So I'm hoping to find a speaker that I can use. Now, I don't want to buy something nice on Amazon or something to kind of take apart and like just mess around with it. I figured for what I need, I could actually just go ahead and get something super cheap 
and then just kind of take it apart and mess with it because I don't know how it's gonna work out. Like I don't know if like the sound card that I have is enough to like amplify the sound. I don't really know anything about sound equipment or like how these things are gonna work out. So that's why I wanna go ahead and get something to test with. So that's the idea behind that. So I'm here to just kind of find some hardware I can mess with. Um, again, nothing too expensive because if I go too expensive and mess it up, then I don't know what I'm doing. So it's just a matter of getting small stuff and seeing how that works and then just going through that process. So let's just go see what we find. Oh, look at that. That's probably an awesome size. You could actually see the, through it. That would probably be an awesome size. I could just picture that. So I want this to be at the bottom, right? So imagine like a cylindrical unit, right? And then we have these like this at the bottom, pointing straight down. And there's some more back here. These seem to have even more stuff. And from what I can see, I'm pretty sure that's a subwoofer, like a little woofer thing. These have them too. Now, like I said, I don't really know anything about sound equipment, so I don't know how this works. But that'd be awesome to have just because I could take this apart. Um, this is probably the woofer and this is the tweeter, so I could take this apart and see how they work. Here's another one. Okay, I, I think I just hit gold right here. So I think I'm a, I might just take a few of these actually. Now, one more thing I do need is actual wiring. Like I need wiring to actually make this work. So I found, they usually have a lot of wires here in this section here. I don't know what's back here. More wire stuff. Um, usually this is pretty organized, but right now it's not. So I think I might just take this thing. They're not RCA cables per se, but they do have outputs here. Uh, they say video, video. So I don't really care what they're for. Uh, they're four bucks. What I care more is about the wire. So I'll probably just take these and like strip the wire out to use them for my own purposes. I might do so we got our hardware. Uh, it only cost me $12.79 in total, which is not a lot. I mean, considering that these are the looking great condition, right? I don't know how much these go for in like actual life, but it might be an actual life and uh, retail value, but it might be cool to kind of look them up. Um, so here are the bottles they got, just to let you know. Let me. So again, I got these things right. The one with uh, the two speakers here and then the little air hole for the subwoofer down here. And then here are the model systems, just in case you want to know. It's an SSMSP7000. So that's the model for this. Uh, and yeah, the, this is the one we're going to use. And obviously we got a, a bunch of wire, which is awesome. I'm glad I saw this. Now we have a bunch of wire to work with, so I can route these hardware I want. And even even if I mess up a few times, I have you know, more than enough wire to go ahead and uh, mess up more than once, you know, so that's awesome. Okay, so that was a lot more work than I thought it would be initially, but we got our speakers, which is awesome. is working but the sound is very very low which I expected I think I'm gonna need an amp for some some place because this is this is garbage but so far at least it works and the volume control really just goes down even lower so it has to be all the way up to hear anything and that's about that's about it so so yeah, now it's just a matter of amplifying the audio and I already ordered all the parts for that. So I know exactly how I'm gonna do that. If you wanna see how I do that, make sure you watch the next video. So yeah, ultimately the whole goal of this is to make our own Alexa, right? Where our own Echo is gonna be its own standalone device. So I'm super excited to see how that goes. And there are some things in the mail that I ordered that are just gonna make it so much cooler. So yeah, if you wanna see the whole process, make sure you stick around for that. Also, if you're new to the channel, welcome. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button and hit the notification button so you know when I release a new episode of this. And yeah, it's just gonna be super cool and just stick around for it and I'm excited that's that's all I have to say about it